In the digital world we inhabit today, wireless networking principles serve as the backbone of most of our online activities. But what exactly is wireless networking? Simply put, it's a method by which homes, telecommunications networks, and enterprise installations avoid the costly process of introducing cables into a building or as a connection between various equipment locations. Wireless networking is built on a set of principles that allow data to be transmitted and received over airwaves. This is achieved through the use of devices such as routers and access points. These devices take the data from your device, convert it into a radio signal, and transmit it to other devices in the network. The process also works in reverse, with data from the network being received, converted back into a usable format, and then sent to your device. Now, let's talk about two key concepts in wireless networking, network range and bandwidth. The network range is the area within which your wireless signal extends and allows devices to connect to the network. This can be influenced by many factors, including the type of wireless technology in use, the physical layout of the area, and any potential sources of interference. On the other hand, Bandwidth refers to the maximum amount of data that can be transmitted over the network at a given time. It's like the width of a highway. The wider the highway, the more cars, or in this case, data, that can travel at the same time. Both network range and bandwidth play a crucial role in determining the speed and quality of your wireless network. As we delve deeper into the realm of wireless networking, you'll realize just how crucial these principles are in shaping our digital experiences. Whether it's streaming your favorite show, video chatting with a loved one, or controlling your smart home devices, the principles of wireless networking make it all possible. So, let's continue our journey and explore the fascinating world of Wi-Fi standards. Wi-Fi standards play a significant role in determining the performance of our wireless networks. Now, you might be wondering what exactly these Wi-Fi standards are. In essence, Wi-Fi standards are technical specifications that determine how data is transmitted over a wireless network. These standards are set by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or IEE, a global organization that develops and maintains networking standards. Now let's delve a bit deeper into these standards. The 802.11 standards, often referred to as Wi-Fi, have several versions, each with its own unique characteristics. Firstly, we have 802.11a. Introduced in the late 90s, this standard operates in the 5 GHz frequency band and has a maximum data rate of 54 megabits per second. Then came 802.11b which operates in the more crowded 2.4 GHz band, offering a similar data rate but with greater range due to its lower frequency. The 802.11G standard, introduced in the early 2000s, combined the best of both worlds, offering the same data rate as 802.11A but operating in the 2.4 GHz band like 802.11B. Fast forward a few years, and we have 802. 11N. This standard introduced multiple input and multiple output technology, also known as MIMO, which significantly boosted data rate and range. Then we have 802. 11AC, which operates exclusively in the 5 GHz band. It brought another leap in data rate and was the first standard to break the gigabit per second barrier. Finally, we reach the latest standard, 802. 11 AX, also known as Wi-Fi 6. This standard takes things a step further, offering higher data rates, improved capacity, and better performance in congested areas. Each of these standards has played a part in shaping the wireless networking landscape that we know today. Understanding these Wi-Fi standards allows us to better grasp the evolution of wireless networking technologies. The evolution of Wi-Fi standards is a testament to the relentless strides of technology in enhancing our connectivity. As we embark on this journey through the progression of Wi-Fi standards, we start with 802.11a. This standard was introduced in the late 90s. 
when the internet was still in its early stages, it was able to deliver speeds up to 54 megabits per second, a significant leap forward at the time, but it was limited by its shorter range and higher cost. Next came 802. 11B. Despite offering a lower maximum speed of 11 megabits per second, this standard gained popularity due to its longer range and affordability. It marked the beginning of mainstream Wi-Fi adoption, making wireless internet access a common feature in homes and businesses. The third standard, 802.11G, combined the best of both worlds. It offered the same maximum speed as 802.11A, but with the range of 802.11B. This was the first standard to truly bring high-speed internet into the wireless realm, making it the de facto choice for many users. Then came 802. 11N, a breakthrough that dramatically increased speed and range, with potential speeds up to 600 megabits per second and the ability to operate on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies. This standard pushed the boundaries of what was possible with wireless networking. The fifth iteration, 802. 11AC, took things to a whole new level. It operates solely on the 5 gigahertz frequency band allowing for speeds up to several gigabits per second. It also introduced features like beamforming, which focuses the Wi-Fi signal towards the devices using it, improving speed and range. Finally, we arrive at the most recent standard, 802, 11X or Wi-Fi 6. It not only offers even higher speeds, but also improves efficiency, capacity, and performance in environments with many connected devices. It is designed to handle the demands of modern smart homes, dense office spaces, and other high-traffic areas, making it the most advanced Wi-Fi standard yet. Each of these standards has played a crucial role in shaping the wireless networking landscape. They've made it possible for us to stream high-definition video, play online games, and access the internet from virtually anywhere without the need for physical cables. And with each new standard, We've seen improvements, not just in speed, but also in range and capacity, enabling us to connect more devices and do more with our wireless networks. This journey through the evolution of Wi-Fi standards gives us a glimpse into the ever-advancing world of wireless networking. Our exploration of wireless networking principles and Wi-Fi standards has been quite a journey. Let's take a moment to recap the important points we've covered. Wireless networking, as we've learned, is a technology that allows computers, smartphones, or other devices to connect to the internet or communicate with one another wirelessly within a particular area. This technology has revolutionized the way we interact with technology and each other, making connectivity more convenient and efficient. We delved into the principles of wireless networking, starting with the fundamentals of how data is transmitted wirelessly. We explored the concept of radio waves, frequency bands, and how the data is encoded onto these waves. We also looked at how wireless networks are structured, including the roles of wireless access points and wireless network adapters. Next, we turned our attention to Wi-Fi standards, these are sets of specifications that ensure all Wi-Fi technologies are interoperable. They're defined by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or IEE, and are known as 802.11, followed by a letter or series of letters. We journeyed through the evolution of these standards, beginning with 802, 11, A and B, progressing through G and N, and arriving at the latest standards, 802, 11, AC and AX. Each iteration has brought improvements in speed, range and efficiency, enabling the high-performance wireless connectivity we enjoy today. It's important to understand that these standards are not just about faster speeds. They also introduce new technologies and capabilities that enhance the overall performance and reliability of wireless networks. This includes things like MIMO, or multiple input and multiple output, which allows for multiple data streams to be transmitted simultaneously, and beamforming, which focuses the wireless signal towards specific devices rather than broadcasting in all directions. As we wrap up this episode, 
remember that a solid understanding of these topics sets the foundation for diving deeper into the complex world of wireless networking.